Hey, this is Rip Band coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Fuck yeah! Hello, make some fucking noise, Comedy Store. It's Brian Red Band, that's Josh that's Martin it. running around. Ryan J.E. Belt's in the house. You are at the number one live podcast in the world, Kill Tony. Make some noise one more time for the hundreds of thousands listening around the world. A lot of fun stuff coming up, Brian. This Thursday, yes. you, I, and the entire Kill Tony band all travel to Houston, Texas to do Kill Tony live in Houston. That's at the uh, Secret Group. Tickets are available all over the internet. Google that shit. Uh, Houston. And then we do a stand-up show after that at the Secret Group. Same night in Houston after a live Kill Tony in which uh, people there in Houston can sign up for it. We always have fun characters. It'll be our... I think our third or fourth sold out Kill Tony. Yes. It's always fun on the road. In Houston. Too. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the next day, we are doing two comedy shows in Dallas at Hyenas. Me, you, the entire band. I headline big, crazy shows, and you get to see uh, everybody that you love from Kill Tony there. And then on fun. Saturday in Dallas, we do the exact same thing again. And before that, we do yet another Kill Tony. <laughs> We do a Kill Tony, and then two live stand-up shows on that Saturday, February 3rd in Dallas. After that, I go to Boise, Idaho with Josh Martin and uh, other fun gigs. Sacramento, California, uh, and other fun places. TonyHinchcliffe.com for that. Red Band, how you doing? Everything good? Everything's great, man. Who has more fun on a Monday than us? We do. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's 2018, people. You have to ask yourself, what kind of physical impression do you want to make on people around you? Did you know that there's a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness for men, medical-grade solutions, real doctors offering well-known generic equivalents to name-brand prescriptions to help you keep your hair? No herbal supplements, prescription solutions backed by science. And we, it's really cool. You get to like meet a doctor over, you don't have to go to a doctor's office and you can get prescribed things for your hair, your skin, and you can get generic Viagra for 20 bucks a month. It's awesome. And right now, if you order, right now, you can, our listeners get a free trial of everything you need to keep your hair for just $5 a day. Right now, while supplies last. See website for full de details. This would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy. Go to for hims dot com slash kill tony that's f-o-r-h-i-m-s dot com slash kill tony for hymns yes. slash kill tony is there an echo in here it's a little bit of an echo you hear that i kind of like it am i the only one sounds a little too echoey maybe like 15 oh, oh man wait it sounds crisp and clear all of a sudden. It's almost like we got an awesome new website exactly things you can do with squarespace man i tell you you know ShopSquad.tv was built on uh, Squarespace? You can turn a cool idea into a new website. You can like showcase your work. I have a whole <laughs> store, all of Death Squad's merchandise, like this hat. Right now, you can go to ShopSquad.tv. It was all made on uh, Squarespace. I made it like, like, in an, like in an hour. I would say I probably made that whole website in an hour. Same with TonyHinchcliffe.com. I'm yeah. pretty sure the Kill Tony website is Squarespace. I mean, it's just a, a no-brainer. It, yeah. it, can, it can hold the bandwidth if you, uh, if you ever get successful in whatever you want to do. And it's just a great place to start and have a cool, sleek uh, website. Yeah. You can go to Squarespace.com for a free trial when you're ready to launch. Use the offer code KILL and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's Squarespace.com. Enter the code KILL and you save 10%. You guys ready for this episode of Kill Tony or what? We are live at the Comedy Store. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Uh, let's bring up tonight's guest. Uh, he's one of my favorite comedians in the world. Uh, I am on uh, this season of Crashing, which he stars in on HBO. Yes. Truly one of my favorite funny people to work with in all of comedy. Make some noise for his first time on Kill Tony the Great, Pete Holmes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Here he is. Welcome, buddy. <laughs> Welcome, Pete. You read the ads live. <laughs> it is. It's fun. We get away with it somehow. I don't it's know the how. only way you can make people listen to them without looking for that 15-second forward button. Yeah, exactly. When it's live, you guys just have to be like, okay, if I make a website, I'll remember that. We, we actually have... 
It's a very fun <laughs> system where the listeners of the show want to know. You said something truthful, so you get the horse of truth. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Yeah, no. Who's lowering the levels on the goddamn horse? It's Brian. I am. I you you yeah. muted yourself? Yeah, because I accidentally hit it sometimes then. All right. I, you know. All right, Tony. Sorry. Our fun method of reading ads is so that we do it live and the listeners of the show actually listen because they want to hear if we're going to flub lines or judge each other and shit. So it makes the listeners actually listen twice as hard, even though it sounds like we're sort of fucking up. On the ads. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. Squarespace. <laughs> See, look at that. It just drew you in. Now we got a free ad for you. Um, you owe me I had $400. <laughs> so much fun uh, shooting, uh, crashing with you in New York City. <laughs> Sunday nights. A little HBO. too late. Is it 10 p.m.? 10.30 p.m. 10.30 p.m. A bit Sunday. late. HBO. For me. But I'm on HBO Go and HBO uh, Now. Oh, now. Yes. And yeah. I love those. I pay for both of them. I don't know why. That's That makes no sense. Why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> one's if you have a cable <laughs> subscription, <laughs> one's just a straight out. I'm really you. not good with that stuff. He's making a point. <laughs> <laughs> have God it damn up. What are you doing? <laughs> what, what is let, that? Let Pete why press the buttons it? if he I, wants to. I love why it. I want to do it. All right. Oh, who's here? <laughs> I know how to improv. <laughs> oh, it's the police. <laughs> I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, no, it was excellent. Tony is on uh, the finale of the second yeah. season playing himself, and he and I, spoiler alert, uh, roast one another. Oh. So it's a roast. Anybody go to the roast battles? There's got to be a sound for that. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? That's that, that racist. Was, that was strangely appropriate. Everybody knows like about the old... There was so few people that we were in the desert in a cavern for a moment. Anyone here go to the roast battles? <laughs> Not a popular show. Uh, so we get to do it on HBO, which you can watch on two platforms. Absolutely. Is this a real sword? Yeah. What is the deal? It's just always been there. It's part of like the design of the whole thing. It's wooden. Oh, yeah, and LASpeedweed.com. We put that there to remind me to uh, say that on the Oh, episode. okay. Can the I blade do? says Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like having this. Wow, oh. you're the first person ever in 247 episodes to unsheath the sword. <laughs> it took you. Uh, oh, we baby, are, I like uh, it raw. We are uh, only, I mean, only by all uh, regards about... <laughs> Seven minutes into this podcast, and look, we, it looks super long. We have a serious. Uh, Don't make me unsheathe the rest of this sword. <laughs> All right, and then you have to walk <laughs> walk away before you resheath it, because that reveals the true size. I don't know. I think you're pretty good with that thing. With the sword? Yeah. I also yeah. What is this? Uh, that's the bucket of destiny. Uh, Ichabod's oh, bucket of destiny. Ichabod's yeah. bucket. Yeah, yeah. Ichabod, Literary. Ichabod's a real human from Las Vegas, Nevada. He's uh, he's, it's not a he's probably about uh, sixty years old, but he looks like he's about two hundred and thirty-five. He's a very scary dude. That was but a he's good a uh, kill Tony legend. He got pulled out of the bucket once and told us his incredible story. Of, I uh, can't wait. I love this. He gave us a bucket one time. Anyway, we have a band. I'm going to bring up the band, Pete. Uh, okay. They play characters every single week and commit to them throughout the episode. Uh, they're uh, our favorite band. They're the best damn band in the land. Make some noise for the Kill Tony band. It's Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. What? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god. <laughs> there are literally about uh, 15, 20 people on this stage. This is incredible. Oh! Wow! Just when you thought the Kill Tony band could not possibly get any more powerful. Here's some though. Fuck yeah! Wow! 
What an entrance God, I feel like for crying. the best damn band in the land. Oh, my God. And I'm pretty sure they are committing to being band members. I've, I've had a lot of What likes. gave you that idea, Tony? <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins, first chair saxophone, ready to be here. <laughs> Patrick Redden, guitar, uh, guitar guy, baton guy, happy to be here. I should have smoked weed, man. You guys are smoking weed. I should have smoked some. <laughs> Do you have any idea how amazing that would have been if I was toasted and you guys came out like that? I'm still not comfortable with these guys behind me. It's Jeremiah, Pat Reagan, and Joel Jimenez, the drummer, clearly brought all of his cousins with him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Chris wow. Dillon on the bass. And uh, Chroma Chris on the bass. Some paper hats, some real hats. We don't know. You look like M. Bison. <laughs> <laughs> What's underneath that thing? What do you got stuffed really? under there? Oh, my gut from the weight gain challenge. <laughs> There's a weight gain challenge? Tony, why don't you tell him? <laughs> well, uh, during the month of December, Jeremiah and I had a competition to see who could gain the most weight. If I won then we would get to shave Jeremiah's uh, famous golden arches, that lovely haircut that he has there. Yes. We were going to shave his head. And if he won, then he got to host an episode of Kill Tony. And after 30, months of, or after 30 pounds of gorging himself, uh, he gained 30 pounds, and I gained uh, 3 pounds. You're like the inverted Christian Bale. <laughs> That's incredible. He gained 27 more pounds than he had to to uh, get to host an episode of Kill Tony. Wow. I joined the band and uh, played uh, played all the songs he knows how to do. But I hosted the show, and it was one of the high-rated most in the show history. <laughs> For hymns. Dot com. I think we're getting <laughs> some of those glimpses of Jeremiah's hosting. High-rated. Is it too late to smoke weed? It's the high-rated most show in the galaxy. <laughs> you are toasty. Is that a bong? Is that a bronzed bong? <laughs> if it was a gift for my grandma. <laughs> I am so excited I like that you about joined me in my the dad riff. quantity of people on this stage. The fact that I'm going to pull a name out of this bucket here at any moment and people are going to perform in front of this is pretty fucking awesome to me. Uh, if I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds of stage time. You know that time's up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then, or I'm sure gonna bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Wow. It's angry tonight. Don't run that light, people. This is a very, very, very serious show. You guys ready to start this fucking shit or what? Come on, you can do better than that Monday night. Make some fucking noise. This place is... They're treating this like it's a Monday. 30 pounds. All right, I pulled Your it. heart will never be the same. <laughs> You'll lose it, but the damage is done. You're dead at 40. You can't do that. I'm just kidding. You're going to be fine. Is that a, is that a, a band hat? Yes, it is. <laughs> How come you have that, that very professional one and those other guys is made out of clearly construction paper and a feather? I, I thought ours looked better than his, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I made them, so... Oh wow. Okay. oh wow, jeez. Okay. I mean in solidarity you could have won one of the worn one of the made ones. But you had to wear your special boy hat. <laughs> Never thought of it that way. Joel, <laughs> Joel Jimenez is the only Mexican I know that works in construction. Paper. <laughs> ah construction Wait paper for the show. paper. Wait for the paper. I pulled your first name out of the bucket, everybody. This shit's about to happen. An uninterrupted sixty seconds, and then you get interviewed. By this insane uh, crew. Put your hands together for Emma Lee Rivera. Hi, everyone. So, my nan kidnapped my dad. That's how she got him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not recently, because she's dead. But uh, she, <laughs> uh, she went over to her niece's house and discovered that she had spawned again uh, and was keeping my dad in a drawer like a gremlin. Just meh. 
So she shoplifted him. <laughs> she also sold ass professionally uh, for 40 years. Yeah. The prostitutes were really old by the time I came around, uh, so she turned the brothels into rooming houses, so I basically grew up in a retirement home for whores. which was a bit of a juxtaposition because my parents are Orthodox Mormon. Fuck I yeah. wanted to hear the Mormon joke. Emily Rivera. I look so Mormon they let me in the temple. <laughs> Only a Mormon would get that. You yeah, they let me I pet do. the dragon. Yeah, you don't, look like, you don't look Mormon. You look like the target of Mormons. <laughs> like, we need to get that one. Yeah. It's true. They want to get everybody. Did you do a mission? <laughs> no. God. Why not? You, you're a Jack Mormon before you went on your mission? Yeah. That's not. That's bullshit. <laughs> no, they don't send girls until they're 21. Oh. And uh, I was already married and had a kid by then. So. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, my you God. Were? Yeah. How old's your kid? She's almost 10. Wow. You have a 10-year-old? Wow. <laughs> do they we look Mormon? Early. No. Yeah, you do. No. <laughs> That's fascinating. Yeah. I feel like your first line should have been like, I was a Mormon. No, I'm not critiquing <laughs> you. I'm just so interested in that. What, I didn't understand your first line. That's just real. Your nan? Yeah. What's, What's a, a nan? Is that Indian bread? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Like a gr like a grandmother? Yeah, uh, I don't. I'm from anyone from Boston. I we don't say nan. Like a nana. Are you we like don't a do nana? nans. Nana. We do that oh, fucking old lady call over them there. Nans here. Oh. What's up? You guys don't call them nans here? No, isn't that sweet? Oh, no. that's interesting. So nan. <laughs> that's creepy. I think we. I, I'm being real. I might. I might have liked your first joke more if I knew what a nan was. So. Oh, okay. So don't I'll judge it on that. that alone. No, no, okay. don't. You don't have to. But I, I'll never get it if I'll you don't. <laughs> You have a 10 year old. What do you do for work? Uh, I am a tour manager and writer, and I do this. Ooh, You're are that? you looking to book any band soon? <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to split 50 bucks 12 ways? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Minus travel? <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> ah! 30 living pounds. What kind of uh, bands do you manage? Uh, I, they're not bands. Uh, uh. It's contemporary opera and comedians. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Contemporary it's a very niche opera. Market. <laughs> yeah. And comedians. Yeah. Where do you book these opera singers and comedians at? Uh, not together. Uh, <laughs> no, just uh, like breweries and festivals and things like that. What That's kind cool. of brewery can I see an opera singer? Uh, <laughs> well, there's not a lot of entertainment from where I'm from, so they're just like, yeah, bring anybody. <laughs> they serve the beer in horns. Sorry? Like the horn cups? Never mind, moving on. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I liked it. Oh, boy. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I also just thought what you did was so difficult. You hit the stage and you, and you really... Began like that was some good <laughs> confidence. Good for you. How long have you been doing stand up? Not fucking uh, a easy. A year. What's that? A year. That's incredible. Wow. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> I'm the Paula Abdul of the show. <laughs> I know. You're great. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Brian to be like, you should have talked about pussies. Talk wow. about your pussy. Talk about your Mormon pussy. Yeah, what is so is your pussy all like? You're like torn up. Oh, from the all right, they, there you did go. They sew it closer together. Like, is it tighter now? Is it okie dokie? Um, ah, so uh, wow. And she does impressions. <laughs> is your family still in Utah? Uh, Are you from Utah? My mom's from Utah. I grew up in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. In Canada for wow. everyone else. When did you move here? Sorry. When did you move here? Uh, three weeks ago. Wow. Get the fuck out of here. What is this? I'm dying up here, season two? <laughs> this is incredible. I'm invested. Is what is going to happen to you? I want to know. Like, Dude, where does this go? This is like, I am going to follow you. I need <laughs> updates. This is like crashing season two if there was also a 10-year-old sleeping on that couch <laughs> with you. <laughs> In a drawer. <laughs> uh, what's the 10-year-old doing right now? Uh... To support me moving out to L.A., my husband and my daughter moved back to Mexico, where he's from. Wow. Because it's cheaper <laughs> until I can do their paperwork to bring them here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I got here when it was raining. It was a very sad day. I need a camera crew following you <laughs> for the next one to six years. That choice is up to you. The dur duration is up to you. How about we do three and then we can re-sign? Yes, three and then we'll, you are a tour manager. <laughs> That's great. We'll do a door deal. Is that okay? That's you incredible. They're back in Mexico. Yeah. Shipping you that premium Coca-Cola. <laughs> so you have you have half your kids technically are what half Canadian, half Mexican. All so they're American. They're just yeah. in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. It's just all of it. <laughs> How long do you think they're gonna? You be can have that joke, by the way. Thank you. It worked, and it's yours. Please, <laughs> please tweet me if it works. I will. <laughs> I need to know. Do you have money? Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> How much money do you have? <laughs> it is well, interesting. Let's okay. give you money. <laughs> My kid's going to go to school, please. No. How I... much money will you give her and I'll match it? <laughs> you got three kids? Wow. <laughs> Send them to Mexico. It's something you can do. <laughs> it's so much If you don't cheaper. want them, just go, Dad's going to be a comedian. They go off to Mexico with an ex-Mormon. It'll be fine. <laughs> Unsheathe the sword. <laughs> 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 Sorry. That so is a precious story. I hope you're journaling. <laughs> I mean it. Like this could be your story. This could be your show. We do a lot of journaling. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that was real, man. How long has it been that they've been in Mexico? Uh, since Christmas. We went down for Christmas. Wow. And then I moved here. Wow. Yeah. How'd they <laughs> unwrap that gift? <laughs> like you guys are staying here. <laughs> Do I get paid for this Surprise. show? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You I'm know not what? paid for this show. As a reward of your amazing, amazing performance and story, uh, we are going to let you have sex with any one of Joel's cousins that you want. <laughs> I think you need to ask yourself, are you feeling horny right now? I think she's going for the two. Alone. Oh, yeah. Is that the bassoon? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's just say that drum kit's standing up by itself now. <laughs> <laughs> I miss dick riffing. It's the Holy Ghost. Emily, do you have any other like uh, special skills or talents that you do? How or many know shirts did you bring to L.A.? How many are we working with? Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your question was better. Uh, I used to be a singer and I act. It's not. It's. I mean, it's L.A. Everybody does that. So no. It's not really special here. Get out of here. You're a former Mormo. <laughs> it's amazing. You vie for collab. What types of things did you sing? Uh, musical Is there theater. A Mormon in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Musical know. theater. Yeah. Have you seen Book of Mormon? Yes. Did you love it? I did. It's great, right? Yeah. It's so very, very so good. good. More people reading the Book of Mormon because of Book of Mormon. Did you but know they that? don't get the real Book of Mormon. What do you mean? There's like the there's the Book of Mormon light. That the missionaries give to everybody, and I saw the book of Eli. <laughs> 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 Freaking Denzel Washington blind the whole time. Don't ruin a great film. <laughs> Just because you haven't talked in a while, don't take away fun from people that might have been dragging their heels on a post-apocalyptic Denzel Washington vehicle, <laughs> like we have so many movies of his to choose from. How dare you? That's my band leader, Patty Rager, right there. I don't know what you said, 30. <laughs> I know what your cells are saying. <laughs> when are you planning on, uh, so when, what's the next step in your guys' thing? Like when you go back, are you going down to Mexico? Are they coming back here? Are you waiting to see what Donald Trump does? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, no, I am just waiting for green cards and things like that. Gotcha. Green yeah. cards? I know. What's the deal with Canadian uh, citizenship? Like? Uh, it's easy for her because I'm I'm half American because of my mom. So uh -huh. hers is, hers is easy to get. It's his. It's a problem. But I don't want to be a single mom in L.A. Single <laughs> so. mom, Mormon, ex Mormon, dad and kid in Mexico, mom a super American, dad from Nova, no, uh, Nova Scotia. Yeah. And that is the story Dinosaur of Emily Rivera. Monday nights, 8 p.m. ABC. You. It's called Shake the Emily. Lady's Hand. She's got uh, that good pussy. What? Jesus, Brian. That joke brought to you by ZipRecruiter. <laughs> wow. Son of a bitch. For 10% off that good pussy and her <laughs> offer code, kill.
get hard for her at four hymns. Four hymns? Is that a thing? Yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys having fun out there? You get it yet? Put your hands together for Mike Fallon. Fallon. Fallon? Fall Fallon? How are you guys doing tonight? You guys are good? All right, I just want to start off by letting you guys know I'm not a Force Whitaker impersonator because both my eyelids work. All right? I'm just saying that's the only thing I like about him, Star Wars Rogue One is that he's in the future, he's black, he's a rebel. He has two robotic legs and he can't fix his eye. That's bullshit. That's all I'm saying. It's the truth. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, you know, blacks we have to go through, like being afraid of Kardashians because, you know, they collect like Pokemon cards. It's the truth, man. Like, I always have this one nightmare. If I date a Kardashian, I go to their house, like, plantation entrance. I walk in. I'll see posters, Django Unchained, Rue, Tattoo, and your dragon. Very uneven. I'll probably find a book, how to get a black eye on Instagram in two days. Stuff of that nature. I'll probably go to, like, Kylie's room. It has, like, a, a selling block you sell black slaves on, but it's covered in love letters addressed to me, so I'm offended and intrigued. Just a little bit. Uh, yeah, so, um, moved to L.A. about five years ago. I'm still broke. <laughs> And uh, I think that's that, that my minute. Or we're we still going. Five seconds. Okay. You have six going. seconds. Five. Four. Say boners. Boners. That's what you want. That's what you wanted. Boners that's, is a that's funny word. That's there you go. It, right? You can close with boners. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boners. Is it Fallon? Is it Fallon? Oh, it's Fallon. Fallon. Like, I love like this Fallon. fucking band. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> wow, that's so wow. powerful. Uh, yeah. One more time for Mike Fallen, everybody. There uh, he goes. Yeah, yeah, Appreciate you guys. Mike, oh. I'm going to be honest with you. I was listening hard uh, during all of that. You sounded out of breath 30 seconds in. What yeah. happened? Where do you think you went wrong? Uh, I'm about over 300 pounds. That's what happened. <laughs> what is it? I'm over 300 pounds. Uh, it's uh, actually about 25% higher than the little girl that was just up here. Yeah, you got to... Uh, <coughs> oh, get, man. Gotta... Testing. One, two. Manhood. Are you there? Testing. Oh, okay. It's there. Good. Can you guys hear me better? You guys good? Okay. Yeah, you were a little quiet. It was hard to hear. I think you can project. I like your style, but I put it into the mic more. I bet you're one of those guys that can really project, am I right? When you're mad about something, you can really get loud, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. Like, when I'm at Chipotle, get my order wrong, same thing. Can you do me a favor? I said ball! <laughs> with the, yeah, without, without using the microphone, can you, like, yell anything you want, like, as loud as you possibly can, without the microphone right in front without. of you? Yeah. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah, that's you good. That white people. Don't worry. Wait, was that, was that the yell? <laughs> that was the yell. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not like a. Uh. <laughs> that was your most powerful yell that you could do. What are you, Robin Williams, <laughs> making them yell? You want me just to yell at people for no reason? Like, come who's on, over thirty? Who's laughing at that riff? That's a dead <laughs> bullet. I'm just trying to stop riff. refunds. That's it, man. I don't want nobody to walk out. Mike, you have uh, so many keys on oh. your key ring uh, that yeah. is on, exposed on the exterior. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try my hardest not to make a jam. Janitor joke. I'm gonna move yeah. forward and ask you, what are all those keys for? I just came from work, actually. Where do you so, work? Uh, Starline Tours. Wait, keys, wait. Keys, 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 keys yeah. of Van Nuys. Yeah, basically. Keys. So yeah, I, I literally just came straight here. That's why I look raggedy right now. Do you drive the? T oh, we can't. We can't even tell. The, yeah. This could no. be. I mean, who knows? Yeah. This could be uh, you at your Almost, max. I'm like a supervisor there, so basically I sit in like one position for nine to eleven hours and manage the buses. Why would you say, say nine eleven like that? Yeah. Just oh. up at one hour or drop at one Don't hour. Don't be scared. I'm black. Don't worry. You're Isn't good. your job, though, talking all day long? And no. I can It's still not understand. They got rid of those people. They, actually, it's like comes in nine different languages now on the computer. Jesus. A lot is happening right now. Yeah. I do want to say that your, your Forrest Whitaker joke, they, I don't know why I'm giving advice. I think it's a good joke. Yeah. And I just think you need to, what am I doing? Is this what you do? I want to oh. say you just need to go 99 times slower. 99 times slower. And then sell it. Okay. Forrest Whitaker, he's a black guy in yeah. the future. He's got two robot legs. They can't fix his eyelid. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I know. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. You're That's absolutely right. That's a fine right. joke. Well, I mean, oh, there's that, you, what I'm saying that. is yeah. part of what makes comedy funny is that we care so much yeah. about insignificant shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, it's my third time only doing oh, it. Wow, that brother, was my next great. question. You're great. Look at that. Yeah, so. I'm, not, I'm not ever. criticizing. No, I'm, sorry, bro. I'm, I'm a saying. big fan of yours. Oh, thank you, brother. I watched all your YouTube videos. Oh, thank Batman, you. Batman, obviously. That's thank my shit. You. Thank X -Men. you. Thank you very much. Big fan of yours and Jeremiah. I'll say it the hot. Can you not water down my compliment by bringing in 30? Okay. Hey. There's one chance I got, What, do you bro. just love everybody? Not everybody, bro. 
Actually, stay up. I need you losing those pounds. <laughs> So this yeah. is your um, third time. So that's amazing. You should feel really good. That's a good Ever. joke. Yeah, is what I I'm started. To I say. did the open mic at the uh, the Laugh Factory. I Don't did. mention other clubs. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is okay. your second time. Clearly, where was the other place? Uh, the Ha Ha North Hollywood. Per perfect. You just had, had your first time ever on stage at a comedy. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> uh, what do you do for work? Oh yeah, you're the what? Wait, what exactly for Starline Tours? I, I manage the buses. Like I, I basically make sure the people are taken care of, that the drivers are on their shit. So. Wow. <laughs> All right, there it is again. That I don't get that, yeah. but yeah. he has so many keys. What else do you have? There's something else oh, hanging keys. off the back there. They're just keys, bro. What's like, that thing? Is that a weapon? What? What's, what's that? What's the back key thing? Yeah, what, what's the, Yeah, there's uh, a lot. Oh, of it's oh, a whole more, thing. More now I believe your job. Yeah, <laughs> like, as soon yeah. as I see that, um, I'm like, when's yeah. the last time you zipped that jacket? I, oh. That's, oh. that's yeah, a great that's, burn. That's, that's good. That was a great burn. That's nice. Wow. Respect. Respect. I like that you're wearing a flight jacket because you look like a flightless bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I didn't know we were roasting. I'm trying to help people. No, I love I it. almost gave the last girl money. <laughs> I, feel, I just. I, All right. I felt bad. What's your PayPal? It, felt, it feels weird. Less weird. <laughs> it's all good. T Tony. Yes. I have a question for Ron Lunches. <laughs> that. I don't know who that is. That is. Funny. Yeah, what's your question? I, I noticed, uh, could I get a little bit more volume in this microphone, please? I noticed that uh, you're wearing a Vic Firth brand thing. Are you a drummer? Uh, no. All right. <laughs> I know. This is just you're supposed to say, too much cardio? That's the burn. <laughs> How long have you it's lived? It's a fat joke. He already made one. We're in the zone. Yeah. <laughs> how, long have, <laughs> how long have you lived in L.A.? Uh, about five years. Where are you originally from? San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. So you've been here for five years. What have you been doing with your nights before you just started stand-up? Uh, I've been writing. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm usually, because I got hit by a van last year. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait okay, listen, 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 listen. Okay, listen. Now, okay, let me finish. I know, I know, I know. Because I've, I've been a dancer for 13 years. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, wait, wait, what? Now, let me finish. I... Wow, this guy knows how to be a fucking guest on this show. You <laughs> yeah. see this? Shit. Get to the good shit, motherfuckers. Okay. You were a dancer for how long? I've been a dancer for 13 years. He uh, was dancing for 13 years continuously until yeah. he got hit by that van last year. Yeah, so... Um, like, my style's called crumping. Well, Vladimir so Putin just walked in, everybody. Is. I'm really excited about this. This Listen. walks in there. All right. Yeah, so, I mean, I've been, I booked gigs here and there. Uh, like, the biggest thing I did was, I don't know, did you guys watch La La Land? Yeah, the movie? Uh, I'm one of the freeway dancers. You, what? You're, which <laughs> one are you? Yeah, when they, when they open the back of the moving truck, I come up from the side and all red. <laughs> that is awesome. We're wow. the marching band from that movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad you got your credits on IMDb for that. Wow, what kind of? We also have to. You're saying a lot of funny stuff, but you gotta wait for that laugh to fade. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I I'm just you. giving tips now. I respect it. I think you're cool, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. Do you want the sword? In La La Land, the van that you jumped out of was that an ice cream truck? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. He, I thought that's what we were doing. Then it didn't work. He <laughs> thought it was mean. Right He's back the mean into the guy. That's what's up. <laughs> Where were you when you got hit by the van? Uh, I was working, actually. Where were you? Your first, it was, wait, don't tell me it was a Starline tour bus. No, it wasn't. Yeah. It was a Sunseeker van. Sunseeker Whoa. tours. Those are the, okay, those are the rivals, right? Sort of, yeah. Do you think that, that uh, do you think that you did something to piss them off or something like that and they sent a guy like, hey, go get that, go get that one guy from Starline that looks like a blacker DJ Khaled. <laughs> Like that. It's, it's all about I, locations, isn't it? I, yeah, if you it know where the houses are, you can like, you know, get yeah. a better job at Starline and stuff. Yeah. You're just more. What are they? One of our ads now? No, What's no, going no. On? You mean the indi being... the individual needs to know where the houses are? They don't just tell each other? No, not really. It's like, really? like yeah. secrets. Like he might know <laughs> oh where Kanye's, you know, like summer house is. It's like about being no. a stalker. Yeah. Is this stalker. true at all? What Brian said? I bet he can sniff out a barbecue from me. I do the city <laughs> tours. On, I don't do the home tours. What, what do you mean city tours? So basically, I manage the double decker buses, the giant red ones, and then the city tours, uh, and the home tours are the small cutoff bands. Hello, Gavna. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. What? You have any other uh, other than dancing? Uh, any other special skills? No, 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 uh, fucking just... man! What are you doing? Listen to us. We need to know what you were doing when you were hit by a van. I was at work, bro. I just told Dude, you. Dude, that's God. not a story. 
That's a location. What happened? Okay. You, you were help? hit by a van. I, I got, I got no, you, Keith. I'm not, I'm not I got you, you, bro. I'm mad at him you. for moving on. He's like, well, we have the van story. Yeah. You were hit by a van. Was it behind you? Was it in front of you? Did you know the guy? What happened? How so hurt were you? Literally, I was at work, and I, I was helping out a double-decker back in. I was standing behind him, guiding him in. The guy in a van. Double a decker, you're talking about the Taco Bell taco, right? Oh. It was backing good. into your mouth? No? All right, go that's ahead. Cool. Sorry. And so basically, as, the, as our, our uh, double decker was backing in, a guy from the Sunseeker wanted the spot. Rainforest Cafe, Whitaker. I, <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you got it out of your system? It didn't work, but that is an excellent joke. Cafe Whitaker. Rainforest Cafe, Whitaker. Okay. Yeah. Laugh on the way home. That's an A+. Plus. I'll try. I'll see what's up, bro. So uh, if you want me to finish the story. Yes, but so, we're learning to roll with laughs. Wait for it to trickle yeah. out and then find that pocket to slip back in. Damn yeah, I like that. It's not a funny story. Just, you know. I know, but I love it. Okay. For sure. The so, double decker's backing up. You hear the beeps. There they are. Yeah. The, the guy wanted the spot. I told him to go around. He didn't want to listen because he had customers in his van. Uh -huh. He tried to push me out the way with, it, with the front of his van. Uh, he caught my knee, so it um, slightly got dislocated. It's, it's almost back to normal now. And, uh, and, and then he took off. Wait, it was so, an intentional <laughs> hit. Yeah, it was. It was intentional. <laughs> like he, what is that called? It's like assault with a vehicle. Yeah, I yeah. Know, assault it, with a deadly weapon. I'm in the middle of it. taking care of right now. You're what? We're in the middle of taking care of it. <laughs> oh my what God, you're you out need of a lesson control in timing? Right what the fuck is going on? What do you say? <laughs> We're in the middle of taking care of it in the, in the courts. Uh huh. Yeah. The yeah, people's courts? Hmm? Boom, boom, boom. This no. is this is wait, wait, wait. now I'm so glad I'm not stunned because I can barely follow this. Uh, is yeah. there any chance that you'd be willing? Because I just know that this crowd, I know the Kill Tony audience very well. Is there any chance you'd be willing to give us a little like 20 second display of some dancing right now? Uh, unfortunately, no. I'm still I'm still doing physical therapy on my knee. So come on, w no, no, really slow. Nobody nah, will nah, ever I'm find out that you danced here. This could never be used against you. Oh in no, court. it's all good if they want to. They can look at me up on YouTube. Just having Mike Fallon or my dance name. That's it. What's your dance name? Kingdom Kid. King. <laughs> That's all we really wanted to do. We just wanted that one laugh. That's King all good, bro. Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Kingdom kid. Just yeah. Spend in a circle for us. Mike, it was your third time ever on stage, yes. and uh, it was a pleasure meeting That was you. incredible, man. I you totally agree with Pete. You take Thank you. your time and project a yeah, little more. Slow it down. You'll be great. You'll Mike be great. Fallen, everybody. There he goes. Nice to meet you. Kingdom Kid 90. Getting some I like that guy. New people. Mike out of this Fallon. Spot. Is it Fallon or Fallen? It Dude, is Fallon. Fallon spelled different. Any relation to Jimmy? I want to be that guy. That seems like a fun guy to be. You know what I mean? Like, I bet he's having fun. <laughs> I know that's a weird thought, but I'm like, yeah. If I could be him for four hours, I'd pay 50 bucks for that. I pulled another name out of the bucket. We're going to keep it moving. Put your hands together for Sean Lubin. Lubin. Lubin! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Sean Lubin. What? <laughs> Red Band, let the goddamn you. band play. Sorry, this doesn't count That's your time. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Lubin. All right. One more time for Sean Lubin, everybody. Come on, ah. give him a shot. That's too kind. Too, too kind. Oh, shit, hold me long. Yeah. We went to school together. Yeah, yeah. Good time to do that. Wait, wait, okay. <laughs> He's going to be on stage. Oh, this doesn't count to his side. But he's doing time stand-up. He's like, now's the window. Yeah. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, for the third goddamn time, <laughs> unless that was part of your set, in which case, leave now, Sean Lubin. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, my name is, yeah, you know. Uh, So I'm a big fan of like extreme metal, uh, like blackened death metal and grindcore. Yeah, especially like the underground 90s shit recorded by like evil teenagers. Which is why, personally, I think the holy grail of that genre is locked in an evidence room in Littleton, Colorado. Because I think the Columbine killers had a demo tape. 
and it's probably amazing. They were into Amon Amarth, Demu Borger. They were prodigies. Can the Littleton Police Department please leak that shit onto media fire? There's a minute from Dude, Sean we Lubin. Could, we could have left the guy in. Good job, man. <laughs> Stingers are getting a little bit longer and longer. Sean Lubin. <laughs> Sean Lubin. Uh, how's it going, man? Is this your first time on the show? It's my first time on the show. Very how, good. How long stand-up? I want it right off the bat. Started in 2014. 2014, so four years. Yeah. Hell yeah. Don't make, don't make me do math. Could have said Sean. that. Yeah. <laughs> Could have said that. You look like Eddie Vedder's mother. <laughs> what do you do for work? Uh, barista. Barista. Wow. Where? One, one minute you're making the movie The Room, and the next you're at a barista. <laughs> uh, oh, he looks like the other guy. Yeah. Tommy yeah. Wiseau. Where no. are you at? Wait, which guy? The guy that he, Tommy, he doesn't look like Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> a little Have you bit. seen any of that? No. Oh, yeah. Tommy Wiseau looks like the vampire that killed this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you a barista at? A, a Vaughn's Starbucks. Whoa! That should be your opening line. God. Uh, I am a barista at a Vaughn Starbucks, so regardless how the set does, I'm happy to be here. Writing openers. Now, how does that happen? Do you apply at the Vons or do you apply at the Starbucks? You do apply you... actually at the Vons, which is the same company as Safeway. Were you willing to take any job that they gave you, or was it, were you trying to get the Starbucks Good job? At the um, I was. It was a pretty desperate time. Yeah. Well, so don't you... make it sad. Jesus. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah. Ah, that's a band joke. They have measures in music. Literally playing to the back of the room. <laughs> How long have you been baristaing at Avon's? Um, about a year. Did right. someone in an orange vest say, I don't know if you're grocery store material. <laughs> Maybe you can move a few sacks of beans. Yeah. Uh, what made them think you beans. were right for the coffee shop? Do you know? Experience? Um, I, I think it was. I don't know. They just they just knew. I'm, it's made me better with people. Converse, what, do you, conversation. what do you think makes uh, working at a Starbucks at a Vons different than working at a different Starbucks? Oh, man. Well, first of all, because I have a little bit of facial hair, uh, Vons Safeway has this protocol where if you have any facial hair, you have to wear a beard net. That's so embarrassing to So hear. you look like Bane? Yeah, I have to wear a beard net even for like this kind of stubble length of facial hair. Do they oh. sell them like on Amazon, like cool ones where it looks like you're a skull or something maybe? That would lead into the death metal stuff. That'd be a good idea, but yeah. You'd be like, I love Avenged Sevenfold, as you can tell by my beard guard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did they, did they... Dude, I feel like your first line should be, I work in a Starbucks in Avon. <laughs> Second line should be, they make me wear a beard guard. Yes. <laughs> Why are you Seriously. telling me about death metal when we could be going there? <laughs> Trying to, seem, trying to seem cooler than I am, clearly. Yeah, True Town is funny town. A beard guard that goes up to what? Your nose, so your mouth's covered? Has to, yeah, it has to cover. They don't want uh, whiskers falling in people's coffee. That's uh -huh. like right. torturous, right? I mean, how long do you work a day? Um, sometimes it'll be eight hours. You don't usually get overtime. I'd, I'd take it. Uh -huh. So you just look like a Mortal Kombat character all day. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then you see like the regular Starbucks guys. Game, have long beards and like gel in their beards and all kinds of crazy hey, stuff. But because you're at the Vons, on top of being having to be inside the grocery store, which is already torturous enough, you have to go one level lower and wear the beard guard. Yeah. Hey, Tony, I got a question about the beard yeah, guard. Yeah, go ahead. Um, where did a beard guard grow? Perhaps a beer garden? <laughs> Love beer gardens. I still feel like, I like he's top three guys to be tonight. <laughs> Sean, what else do you do? What do you do for fun when you're not writing or doing stand-up? Um, well, I feel like the elephant in the room, like a fellow from my old uh, alma mater, Oaks Christian High School, was in the room. Wow. What are you guys' uh, mascots over there at Oaks Christian? The Oaks Christian Lions. Wow. Yeah. So let me get this right. Uh, Wrong. That, that guy, you didn't come here with him. You got called up on stage, and in the first few seconds, he just was like, hey, man, you remember me. Yeah. During your performance. He, he must have thought I was dead or something. I don't know. Wow. I'm alive. I made it. 
Is that one of your like friends, or did you not even like him that much back at uh, Oaks Christian? He was a grade above me, I believe. Yeah, you, it doesn't even seem like you know him that well. That's really interesting that he'd interrupt did he, your set. Yeah, it's did white privilege. Um, I, it, it's a Christian school known for its football team and all that. What were you doing there? What, what, what activities did you take part in? Uh, smoking weed. Wow. Getting, getting expelled right before graduation. Have you ever tried to smoke weed through your beard guard? <laughs> That's hilarious. No. I think the Tony. third line of your act should be, I got expelled from Christian school for smoking weed. Yeah. And I like that. Is that true? You got expelled? Did I, I miss that? No, no I was uh, selling tobacco to freshmen. Tobacco. Cigarettes. Were they expelled you? They found out about that. I was already on academic probation. Did you end up getting a what, what type or, of... On, a, on behavior probation. Did you get like a GED or something like that? Uh, yeah. No, of I, course I not. You're working at a Starbucks I, and a Vons. That's as low as it gets. So. Yeah. What did, what did you get? Got a GED. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I <laughs> okay. went and did with. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thanks. I'm comfortable here now. <laughs> he is. He's, he is. Sounds what like you, you didn't get it. Did you get a GED? I homeschooled. Remember I homeschooled 20. the rest of the way, so I guess technically. Did you really? You, you could call that a GED. Wait, are you, you? So you're saying you homeschooled? Who else was in the home in which you schooled in? Um, my mom taught me. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, so, first great. line. I was homeschooled. I haven't seen a stand-up <laughs> that was homeschooled. I've never you, know, you know what's crazy? I will say this is interesting. I was seen right next to the guy who got picked right before me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not interesting. Wow, whoever's sitting next, be careful. Well, you could be up here bombing next. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Sean. Well, I like no, you. You did great. I'm just you did kidding. Great. They just like it when I'm mean <laughs> to people for no reason. They expect it because it's part of my brand and shit. Anyway. Um <laughs> Sean. <laughs> so I feel like you have a pair of rollerblades. Am I close on this? <laughs> no? You do anything other, anything else silly or fun or cool? Uh, I make music. You get a lot of chicks? You did you like, say music? You s I, did. I did, yeah. He makes music. You seem like a guy that would do well with the ladies. You ever take him back to your place? Get back to the music! Homeschool them, you know what I mean? When, when I, whenever I take girls back to my place, they always ask me these weird questions. Like, like do you have a condom? No, like... <laughs> You say I got a beard guard. Like <laughs> that was excellent. That was excellent. Let's get back to this music for a second. What kind of music do you make? Jeremiah is dying to know. Um, avant progressive rock and opposition. All right, I am glad I asked. Uh, Whoa! What the fuck? I don't know. He I, is a bad boy. I, that's fem rock, right? I'm pretty sure Emily Rivera can book you well, at one any, of her any, uh, hey, opera. Any dates. Zapp Frank Zappa fans? In the band? Yes, I am a Frank huge, Zappa. huge Frank Zappa fan. I yeah. love what he used to do in the mi in the mid sixties, late sixties. Oh, yeah, 60s. Uh -huh. yeah. huge. Uh, do you sing? Yeah, sing, scream. Can you give us a line of uh, of uh, one of your songs right now? One of my songs. Um, yeah, sure. There's no bad people, only ones that get caught. I had freedom all along. I just forgot. I recognize a church song whenever I hear it. <laughs> That, was, that pretty, was a hymn. That was good. Well, Sean, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Good to meet you guys show. too. There Thank you. you. you John Lubin. Sean Lubin. L U B I N. He, he's on Twitter. Emily Rivera is on Twitter. John Lubin. Kingdom Kid 90, Mike Fallon. Fallon. This is uh, the portion of the day where I don't have to wear a beard guard. Also, <laughs> uh, it's also a good opener. I'm going to be writing for these people <laughs> the rest of the night. I won't be able to not. It's fun, you know, it's one of those things that I never talk about, but I ask them these questions and I think the same thing all the time, almost to every answer that I get, because it, it is everything. It's incredible how different everybody is. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. I just want the meat of who they are immediately. Who are we seeing next? You can say, go ahead. CJ Price, everybody, CJ Price. Here he comes. Here he is, C. J. Price. Ow! Thank you, thank you. I've uh, been in a long-term relationship for seven years, which leads me to believe if uh, she breaks up with me, I'm going to die alone. Um, basically, because if you're in a relationship for more than one or two years, you're not going to get your game back. Not when you've been out that long. Michael Jordan retired from basketball one season, came back, won three championships. 
If he's gone for seven years, he's a cautionary tale. Now he's a shoe. Now he's a shoe. Seven years, we didn't used to do, uh, we didn't used to do a lot together. But uh, we started going to concerts. We went and saw Jay-Z for $9. Which means nothing will ever live up to that. Amazing concert, but there's this bar near my place that sells an old fashioned. It's 10 bucks. That's one in one night Jay-Z's. <laughs> it's not worth it. Floyd's, the barbershop I go to, $27 haircut. Three Jay-Z's. <laughs> no Thank you. CJ Price. Hello. I'm great. How are you? Doing? How are you? Good, good. How are you? This is your first time on the show as well, huh? First time being at the show, yeah. Yeah, very How cool. old are you? 24. I think that's one of the problems is like if you and your girl break up, you'll be fine. I, everyone yeah. knows that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like we're all just wiser than you. So that's the problem with that joke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the second joke was great. I just, I'm, it's just like I thought you were very funny. Great job. Thank that you. first joke, it, it just didn't work. I was like, he is, he's doing it. You know what I just said? Yeah. You open with how you should open, which is this is what's interesting about me. You're just like a fucking corny ass white dude. Get to it. You know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? So you say, I've been with the same girl for seven years. That's great. Which means you started dating when you were what? Nine, 17? 17. 17. Yeah. Wow. 17. That's I'm 24. I've been with the same girl since I was 17, which means I could be fucking completely wrong. How would I know? You know what I'm saying? I definitely know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. I'm just trying to riff. No, you're absolutely. You're <laughs> you know doing, what I mean? Like, like, yeah. Both of you were so young when you started. You could be fucking completely wrong. <laughs> and you won't find out until your next girlfriend. You'd be like, I don't put it on your ear? Like that, you don't know. No, I said you're... on your ear. I didn't hear <laughs> like on the ear, like an ear job. Fine. So you're 24. How long have yes. you been doing stand-up? Uh, that was my third time. I... Third time yeah. ever. Good for but, you. Uh, been doing sketch and improv for about three years, though. That's, okay. Well, That's good. one third Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh? What have you been doing all this time? If that's your third time on stage, what have you been doing for fun since you? Uh... Uh, improv and sketch at the Second City, and like yeah. taking classes at UCB. I'm on a, a house improv team over at Second City. Used to be on a sketch team there. What's making you all of a sudden want to get into stand up? Is stand up something you um, like really want to do, or are you just doing it to like improve on your sketch? Do you think easier to get stage time uh, through stand up than improv? Because there's not a lot of improv shows. You could just what do you think about this Jeremiah up? Watkins character well, guru? Open mic. Do you do impressions? By the way, you want to have an impression on? No it? Oh, okay, good. You're currently doing a Jim Gaffigan impression. <laughs> <laughs> or Matt Damon in that dork one. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know the dork one. The, it's not the Talented account. Talented Mr. Ripley? It's Jude. Yeah, you look like you've given Jude Law a sexual look. <laughs> It's a talented Mr. Ripley. He seems riff. like he seems like to me like a uh, Waldo's rebellious son. <laughs> ah, like, you don't want to find this one, right? <laughs> I feel like Waldo's looking for him right now. I have a good feeling about you. Good luck. He's laughing. Uh, you, I, I'm not saying you're good looking. You are good looking, but I'm saying you have a good look. I get you. Good I jokes. Get. You should be doing stand up, man. I started in improv, and I, for the I mean, I was doing stand up as well, but I leaned to stand up because it is so much easier to do it. Because on improv, if like three of your guys suck, your team sucks. Or if three of your guys don't want to do it all the time, then you can't do it all the time. You, you're making the right move. 24 is great. You've been Thank with you. the same girl for seven years. Do you guys always have sex in the same positions? No. Yes, on the no, ear. No, you try different stuff out? Yeah. Like what? Actually. Like, how, like how, do you, uh, how do you know what to do? Like, do you like look it up? Like, do you Google like, other shit to do or something like that? I'm sure the well, boys seen pornography. Do you? Really? Well, it's you look hard. like you make pornography. <laughs> <laughs> it does. He's got his hand in his pocket right now for you podcast listeners. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, well, it's more like improvisational with her. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, yeah, you ever check out her second shitty? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Wow. A good I'll one. put it in your yes and. <laughs> okay. No, because just like there's a Tell me when you're Dell Close. I'm not done riffing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? No, we're just comfortable together. So if you we know, try like, something and it doesn't work out, then we just move on to the next one or whatever. Sure. That's it. And what is I don't she? Know, I'm happy. I don't know if she is. What does she do? She's a line cook at a pokey place in Silver Lake. At a pokey place? Yeah. Can I just say this is the ro most romantic story I've ever heard? <laughs> How did you meet? College? Uh, we met in high school, actually. High school? Yeah. So you, oh, you said that. You've been dating the same girl since it's in high school. There's, there's a lot to mind there, I bet. That's interesting. I, isn't poke raw? 
It's just sushi in a bowl. Because he says she's a lying yeah, cook. I, I, I think we're that. missing a step she, here. I don't. <laughs> yeah. She's a line. She's a line prep. She assembles bowls. Oh. She assembles bowls. All right, cool. Moving on. She assembles bowls. Um, what are things? What like? Give me an example. You kind of, you know, you kind of. This is actually kind of a, a compliment. You, you know, like in the Captain America movies where he's trying to be incognito. <laughs> You know what I mean? He's meeting Scarlett Johansson at a Starbucks. He's like, I'll blend in. That's you right now. <laughs> Going to the Apple store, yeah. yeah. You look like you're in the skulls. You know the, that. You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. you, look, you look like the rapper Logic if he wasn't half black. <laughs> oh, shit. That's great. That's great. CJ, you're 24. You look like you're living that wild life. What do you think is the wildest thing about you? The wildest thing about me? Two yeah. and two-thirds Jay-Z. You know, anything you do dangerous or fun sometimes or crazy or uh, silly or something, anything. Don't really do anything crazy. Maybe just once a my year. My dad's in prison? I don't know if that's... That's great. Really? Right. Wow. Really? And my that's brother. your that's second line. For me. Oh, how, maybe mu how, <laughs> how much taxes did he try to evade? Uh, none. How, how many bars is he behind? Oh, okay. Uh, what, uh, what did he get put in prison wow. for? For murder. Whoa! What's that? CJ Price has Debbie killer people. Murder? Yeah, it's a shame so. I don't know anybody with sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brian Redband. You're like that guy that's with Biff in the future in Back to the Future 2. What? <laughs> like the robot guy that's like, bark, 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 when he calls him chicken. Yes. Watch the movie laugh later. This is uh, compelling as fuck. Is this cool for you to talk about? Yeah. yeah How old fine. were you? When it's not I... an active case. He's in the can. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when your uh, dad... Uh... Uh, I was 20 when it happened. Who did wow. he kill? Let's just... Uh, some guy who broke into his house after my grandma died and stole the jewelry, and then he came back to steal more, and then my dad killed him. Well, was your dad waiting there at the yeah, house? Yeah. Wow. Sort of like Kill Bill style, so just sitting there with a shotgun, yeah. waiting for the door to open up. Type that of? was the weapon. Yeah. Really? Yeah, a yeah. shotgun, and yeah. he was waiting for the person yeah, to come. Yeah. Shot him in the back. He crawled out, and then he killed him in the front lawn. And is that why he went to jail? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> that would do it. Yeah. You, no, it, yeah. I just mean like. Maybe you could get away, like a lawyer nah. could get you off for shooting somebody who's trying to steal well, shit. Well, he only got 10 years, so he got... It's the second that's shot that went off. It, it is the second shot. shot. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, People yeah. get yeah. time. Time. What am I, hard? Hey. They get time. <laughs> because if you shoot somebody six times and then reload, you can't plead insanity because no insane person would be like, time to get the bullets and load them. So that, yeah. your dad was fucked the second shot, right? Yeah. No, he's done. But, you, but he knew what he was doing because the, the jewelry, you know, he probably yeah. loved his mom and the jewelry probably meant a lot to him. And the guy was probably, what, a, a, that he killed addicted to drugs or something like that. Well, they were both addicted to heroin, my father gotcha. and him. It yeah. seemed like that, that you could be like in an act of rage, though. Like you're, you weren't thinking. Yeah, like know? an emotional like, state. Was this just a like public defendant that your dad had or something? Or? No, we actually hired the guy who... Uh, Johnny Cochran? He tried one of like, the first murder cases in the state of California or something. But I don't know what it you was. You got Matlock? amazing... <laughs> Some amazing qualification, but he got him a good plea deal, so he'll be out in. Three he got years. him a good plea deal, yeah. but was it close? Were they kind of like, look, you shot a guy who was trying to rob him, let him go? No. Why uh, wasn't it close? Because he, the guy, didn't have a weapon on him, and it finished out front. <laughs> it's because he followed him. So was your dad like a scary dude? No, I, I didn't think he was capable of murder. I, <laughs> not, not my life. Wow. I so don't that, know. That raises an interesting question. Did you inherit your father's murderous traits? Well, I didn't kill up here, so no. <laughs> ah, that's great. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't know. You know I th I th I'm going to give you some advice. Don't quit. Right. I, I think, like your father, you'll do a lot better on your second shot. <laughs> CJ Price, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep flying through it, shall we? Stad's a murder. That's fun, man. There you go. 24 year old CJ Price, third time ever on stage. 24. 30 pounds. <laughs> Six more pounds than that kid's been alive. What did you do? What did you eat? Uh, 
while melted ice cream uh, for breakfast, uh, a lot of uh, meat after dark. Um, he, he ate so much food that he literally got those gloves from the real hamburger helper. <laughs> I'm just warming up, people. Let's do this. Yeah. That's a fantastic joke. Man, your jokes are sharp tonight. Oh, that's another music joke from Jeremiah there. Do you guys not know music at all? <laughs> Come on! Come on! These people need to get with the program. The hat wasn't the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There goes his beard guard. <laughs> all right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Jeff Wallace. Jeff Wallace. I love this band. You love this band as much as I do. <laughs> it's right in my ears. It's not good. It's so great. Come on, it's Jeff Wallace, everybody. That's That's awesome. This is a little intense. <laughs> really? All of them? Holy shit. Joel has to look great. All right, gang, how's it going? A little bit about me. Name's Jeff Wallace. Today, considered walking into traffic to pet a cute puppy. Cutest puppy I've ever seen. So adorable. I told my girlfriend about this, and she said, why would you do that? What kind of dog was it? I said, so small. Fluffy. Walked like it had Parkinson's. It was... Oh, it was magic. It was just biting at a leash. It wasn't even on a leash. Just biting at the air. Oh, some magic. And then also that poor owner, when I ran across the street, I was like, Look, I pet your dog! <laughs> he reacted about the same way that you did, except you had a can of mace. All right, fuck. <laughs> Jeff Wallace, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff, yeah. How long, Jeff? How long has it been? Oh, come on. How Pe long have you had stand-up? Pedro, Pedro. <laughs> How long have I what? Have you had stand-up? Uh, it's been almost five years. Five now. years, okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And, um, and how long have you not been wearing your beard guard? <laughs> <laughs> Too long. I want to say, you know what's funny about I don't know. My brain is kind of literal. Yeah. So I don't know. Audience, let me know if, if you're with me on this. When you say I ran into traffic to pet a puppy, all I'm thinking is there was a puppy in traffic. <laughs> Am I too literal? Did anyone else take that literally? Okay. So I'm like, All right, that's fair. oh, he's about to say the puppy got hit or something. Like that's going to be the, the bait and switch or something. You... <laughs> that was so scary to me. <laughs> you mean you ran, you saw... The story goes, I saw a cute puppy across the street, and I almost ran into, tra I ran into traffic to go pet it. I considered running through yeah. traffic to pet it. Yeah. I, I, and maybe I even a little it, attitude. Possibly? I'm su here's a, here, I'm not, my name, what's your name? Jeff. My name's Jeff. I'm fucking stupid. I'll give you an example. I saw a puppy. It was so cute across the street. I almost ran into traffic to fucking pet it. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's a good joke. I'm saying at least... <laughs> At least you know what I mean? Like, Man. I get the attitude, and I get what you're saying. You're saying I'm an idiot. It's an I'm an idiot joke. Yes. You know what I mean? But if I don't understand your perspective, I can't laugh at their reaction or what your girlfriend said. I'm still thinking about the unclear beginning. Jeff. I'm just straight up criti critiquing <laughs> no. shit. You're, you're doing an amazing job. I need to go. No, you are, no Pete, you're doing amazing. Jeff, have you always, <laughs> really uh, have you always looked like a uh, young Charles Manson? <laughs> You know who he looks like, actually? The guy from uh, uh, Short Circuit. Oh, that's a deep I cut reference. I think he looks like uh, Jesus Wait, Christ if he Short was Circuit? deeply affected by not having a real dad. <laughs> Question for Jeff. I don't think I got that. Question for Jeff. Some yeah. of them did. It's okay. How many times have you cried to a Leonard Skinner song? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> where are you from, Jeff? Visalia, California. Wow, what's that? Where's that at? It's uh, near Fresno. It's in between Fresno and Bakersfield. Yeah, that, yes. yikes. That's about right. Um, what do you do for work? I'm in sales. What are you selling? Uh, fenestration products. 
Fenestration? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it's uh, Windows and, and window and door hardware. It sounds like what Louie did. <laughs> <laughs> Jack off in a plant? Yeah. He yeah. fenestrated. <laughs> yeah. So hard. It's not fucking All right. Louis also worked in a lot of windows and doors. <laughs> 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 You're a good yes and yeah. with his hardware. With his hardware. Oh, okay. um, that makes sense. What does that mean? Window and door hardware, like anything specific, like a knob or a bolt or anything like that. Just the whole uh, thing. Yeah, it's uh, the Europe European door and window hardware. Uh, it's uh, weird shit. Why did your voice just change when you said European? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you became European in that nah, moment. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Ah. Wow, you're getting weird. Okay, uh, <laughs> this has been happening sometimes lately. People I feel start... unsafe. <laughs> does yeah. uh, Does Bono know you have his wig? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, do you drink a lot? Yeah. A lot of people I notice don't bring their drinks up here on stage yeah, for their 60 I, I, seconds I, performance. I, I was standing in the fucking uh, hallway to the men's room uh -huh. because there's nowhere to sit because, you know, such a successful podcast yeah. is the number one live podcast in America. <laughs> and I, so. Thank you. Thank you uh, Were you like, this yeah. hallway needs a door? <laughs> were, you, were you blown away? <laughs> were you blown away? I thought away? they liked it. You deal with Jeremiah a lot of, uh, Jeff it. over here, you deal with a lot of, uh, like, female homeowners. You ever get hit on by ladies while the husbands are at work and you're, like, you're measuring out the doors and shit or whatever? No, not really. I, I work mostly on the phone, so um, I, I wish that would be the case. Oh, I, that's cool. Yeah. Can you give us an example of uh, if I called you to get some uh, windows and doors and shit, what that would be like? Yeah, you sure. do an impression of you at work? Yeah, okay. yeah I could do that. Uh, hi. <laughs> that's what, well, jeez. That's how you answer the phone at your job? I'm oh, not going to say oh, the name hi. of the like business. Wait, no, you're out calling us. You're calling us. I'm, I'm not going to say the name of the business. Uh, okay. Let's make it up. Okay, can you make up a name of the business? Say Planned Parenthood. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, here sure. we go. Here we go. God, when's this asshole going to pick up? They have uh, to be open. Uh, how, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how, wow, wow, you're really good at this, Jeff. How, uh, thank you for calling Jeff's Pleasure Doorhouse. How can I help you there? Wow, you see the difference between the second uh, city guy and the, uh... <laughs> oh, God, come on. That's okay. Um, so, is there anything interesting about you, Jeff? And how much have you had to drink tonight? Answer I've the second had, one first. I've uh, had three Millers. Perfect. Nothing, uh, well, I've had, I've had about five beers, I It suppose. looks like if you stroke your hair three times, it summons a unicorn. It does. You want to stroke it? When you say yes. when you say three Millers, you mean three Steve Miller band I songs? Yeah, I can't. Oh, I can't. Do I can't it, do it. For legal reasons, I can't do that. <laughs> were, were you blown away the first time you saw fire? <laughs> ah, that is so good. That's I love the that. area. That's the. I area. was working on caveman jokes today, and I I didn't tell him I chose the puppy joke, which was a bad Stop. idea. Stop. Did you uh? Do you do you have a roommate or anything like that? No, I live alone. You live alone. Do you yeah. have a, a pet? Weird pet? No, no, no pets. No you pet. live alone, as far as you can tell. I the cave is quite dark. <laughs> How long have you lived alone? Brontosaurus? Uh, just two months. Since my Komodo dragon died? <laughs> ah, very good. Very good. That is good. That's pretty much what I was looking for. Yeah, uh, I was looking for it, too. The, have you ever had a weird pet? Uh, no, just a cat. How oh. straight are your pubes? Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, ridiculously straight. Are they really I straight? I haven't turned them in a long time, and it's, just, it's getting a little creepy. It looks like an emo kid down there. Did, did you name your nuts the Almond Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> the Almond Brothers, <laughs> because they're nuts and they have straight long hair. Do they? Do they oh, grow? It's like a, it's like a triple joke well, there that Jeremiah like, just yeah, landed. Yeah. <laughs> Three prongs. That's my Golden brothers. Goose, Jeremiah almond Watkins. Brothers, there's two of them because they're nuts. Who was the brothers? Heads. Did they really grow straight? Uh, they yeah they're ridiculous. really yeah it's really weird. That's but you funny. take care of your hair. Let's face it. I mean you do you you leave in conditioner or something sheer like that. Neglect. It's uh, do you go yeah. to forhims.com and take special vitamins for that? I thought about telling a joke about it, but no. Your it, hair? It's probably good because I would have lost your sponsorship. But I think you should address the hair right up top. Yeah. Come on. Right. You said I, it's I sheer have neglect, a minute, man. I'm just trying to run shit. You know, it's 
The yeah. hair I know is ridiculous, but no, uh, no, no. I'm not saying it's ridiculous. It, it's oh, noteworthy. Uh, it is ridiculously noteworthy. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. like your Aniston phase or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> it just stands out. There's something about like normally when we see a look like that, it's followed by the backside of a horse. You yeah. look, <laughs> you look like you give loot lessons. <laughs> I feel like you're here to <laughs> recite a poem to my girlfriend. <laughs> I, I, okay. Your wife. My wife, I know. <sighs> I love your podcast. Oh, I just by mean. She's right there. I just, for some reason, said, Is girlfriend. she? Hi, Val. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. Do you have yeah. a crock pot? Dude, yeah. That's uh, like, I, no, my new, I just moved to a new apartment and it doesn't have a fucking stove. I didn't notice it at first. <laughs> It <laughs> didn't have that. It <laughs> didn't so have a crock pot, which I cook all my meals out of. What's your favorite thing that you make in your crock pot? I, I put in like a chuck steak or something and right. just and like some onions and black beans. You know? Wow. That sounds so gross. Uh, <laughs> hey, you want to go over Jeff Wallace's house, eat some chuck steak with black beans and onions? He just throws it all in a crock pot. <laughs> so good. <laughs> You have to drink like seven Miller High Lifes before you eat it, but it's, <laughs> it's that's fucking delicious by the time he cracks open that sweet, sweet crock pot. <laughs> Once the smell of the onions and the beans <laughs> fills that apartment, which only takes seconds because it is... This isn't the biggest apartment, I'm sure. No, it's it's not. It's right, not at all. it doesn't have a stove. It's if not normally shit, one of the to... old seven bedroom uh, yeah. luxury apartments. Look, we got seven bedrooms, no stove, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeff. Have you ever uh, gotten away with a crime before? No, I've been caught for all of them. Uh, what's the most interesting thing that uh, you've been in trouble for? There are no good people. Uh, only fingering people who my don't girlfriend get while I drive. That was probably wait uh, a what? second. Okay, how Let's violent was that? You, wait, wait, did this happen when you were? Uh, did this happen when you were hitting a guy that worked for Starline Tours? <laughs> I missed that part. How'd I you get I caught? How'd you get caught doing that though? Unless it was like she was like, you know, spinning around in circles or something. <laughs> she well, reported him. The cop on a motorcycle? No, it was. Uh, I'm pretty sure that someone called the cops on us as we were leaving a place. It was like kind of a sting thing, I think. A yeah. sting thing. <laughs> well, oh my God! All right, guys, you know why we're here. <laughs> Did he Today we are going to get every kid that is fingering their girlfriend in this <laughs> local parking lot. <laughs> Or if you see finger or more go into a vagina, we get, 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 and we will go, go, go. Operation yeah. Finger Bang now. We are going to change the world on this day. In the valley, there was a huge fingering, fingering epidemic, and uh, so. What the fuck? Were, yeah. Where did it happen at? Where'd you get busted? I Woodland got busted Hills? on the freeway. I was driving home from an establishment. You were on my, the freeway. Uh, <laughs> no, he was on. He was on a freeway. It wasn't a finger way. I don't know. Um, I was. What? We were driving away from a bar. With from my the what? A from bar? A, from a bar. Where did they see you do the fingering at? On the freeway? We were driving in my car. On the freeway. And she was swerving somewhat supposedly, so I don't really... Oh, she was uh, driving. She was driving. Oh. 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 Look at that. Oh. 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 She was driving. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. Oh. And oh. Very good. Oh. Very good, guys. Great you, stuff. You right, decided you, to help her. You and Jeff Wallace, Brian Redband. Come on. <laughs> so you're driving on the freeway. She's swerving, and then all of a sudden, what? You're fingering her for how long? A few minutes? For uh, she, she, in the car, she in the car? Oh, it was a while. Did you it have prune hands? Five, ten. Yeah, it was pruny. It was did, getting there. Did you ever oh. find her G chord? <laughs> Very good. Oh, you get that one, you sexual deviants! <laughs> <laughs> So this guy sudden, knows a lot about fingering. Okay, that, that's a terrible joke, but it's what you're doing. <laughs> it is, it is so true. what did the uh, what cop, <laughs> cop pulls you guys over? All of a sudden you see lights, you get the little boot boot. You're like, oh shit, I got to take my fingers out of your pussy. Pull over, babe. Was you like, let me smell your hands? <laughs> yeah. yeah how let me smell your hands. Let's see your hands. No, let me smell them. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get pulled over for fingering. That would be the hardest thing in the world. What, did you have one foot on the glass? <laughs> <laughs> Is this true, or you, were you trying to be funny? No, I was assaulted by the police. Uh, you were assaulted was, by the police. I was beaten in handcuffs. You were... <laughs> Not finger cuffs? <laughs> ah! Ooh. Ah! Boom. So, wait, are you doubling down... On this story, wait, we're asking, is it true that you were pulled over for fingering? Yes. 
Well, you were. That's not true. You were pulled over because she was swerving. Yes. Okay, so tell the fucking truth. You were pulled over for swerving. How did they discover that you were? Oh, fingering? did you really? I'm sorry. Did you think I was arrested for fingering my girlfriend? Yes, and yes, we thought you we ran into traffic good. because wow. a dog was in the yeah, I did, I did. I, I, did. Did. I thought Jeff, that. I'm going to be no, honest with not, you. That's not real, guys. Jeff, People over don't here. get arrested Jeff. for things like that. Jeff, over here. I was pulled over because wow, I thought I was intoxicated. Wow, you're just rambling now on a live podcast. I'm Please not rambling. Great, Jeff. Just, Hands where we can see them. <laughs> but you weren't driving. Jeff, you, can, no, no. you can be drunk in a car. Yeah, and arrested for it. You were a passenger in a car drunk and you were arrested? Oh no! Yeah, I was. Uh, my my gal, she was inebriated. Oh. Do, you, do you think we're playing an improv oh. game right now, or something like that? Oh. We're interviewing you to find yes, out real but, life shit. But still, if your girlfriend was drunk driving and you were also drunk, you don't get arrested. If you get out of the car and try to convince them that they shouldn't arrest your girlfriend, then at that point they decide they should probably arrest you. Okay, so you were uh, drunk and disorderly. When you try to fight the cops, yeah. they take you away. It, exactly. Is is your life mantra all right, all right, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was. That is my hero. <clears throat> Jeff, what do you think the most interesting thing about you is? Uh, I, I have no answer to that. I, I, I apologize. He drinks Dos Equis. <laughs> all good. We're going to keep it moving. There goes right, Jeff cool. Hollis. Jeff! I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't want to do anything wacky this week. I uh, I wanted to go right through a normal episode of this show all the way through the bucket. As you guys may know, uh, Ali Mikofsky retired from regularism last week, and uh, we have begun uh, recruiting a uh, new regular. And uh, But in lieu of not having a regular this week, we have uh, been doing this thing that we've experimented with a couple times, and Brian is set on this being a wild, uh, wild part of this show in which uh, somebody, we've given the opportunity to a random volunteer who thinks that they can endure eating something hot, this idea that Brian is just completely fucking in love with. Like, uh, and then they get to do two minutes. But this is not anything hot. This is like the hottest shit you could buy on the internet. Right. It's, it's How hot is it? Now, Chroma Chris, the bassist, last week, he ate three times the amount as the last person, and he said it didn't really affect him at all. Uh, Chris, would you like to taste just a half of the piece of Chris, this little teeny piece of this chocolate? Chris, do you want to be uncomfortable for the rest of the show? I'll do, I'll do a full piece. A full piece? Yeah. All right. Wow, full piece full for piece. Chroma Chris. Right. Balls to the wall. All Chris, right. Chris, if you can come over here. Uh, for here's those of you listening to the podcast, piece. I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Yeah. But here's a full piece. It's about the size of a your little fingernail, there like a little Let's, Asian girl's fingernail. Can we fingernail. just keep this part moving, for uh, the love of God? Yeah, so if Chris can... Here you go, Chris. Chris, he's going to throw you the extremely tiny fingernail piece of chocolate. All right. Uh, and uh, this is the part where we uh, look over to our left, I suppose, and ask the uh, comedians if anybody wants to eat something hot. Pete, are you excited about this? This is supposed to be extremely hot. Do you like hot stuff? Okay. I, I did something like this on spicy interviews. I had to eat a how you know, how many other things. Yeah, Brian. Brian's not obsessed with trying face. to infuse that segment. Chris into just the show. ate it. He just ate it. It should take about three to five seconds until he's dead. And Chroma Chris is a marine. Is that yeah. true? Wow! Hey, put your hands together for Chroma Chris. I had no idea he was a uh, an actual marine. <laughs> yeah. Is it is it spicy? Uh, tall Bill Burr. <laughs> uh, can't really see anything over there. Um, it's all right right now. It's not. Yeah, that's exactly what bad. I it's thought. Good, yeah. uh, boy, are the stakes raised now? Um, Trust me. Trust me. You keep an eye right. on this that. This is the part kid. where all the least funny people right. in the room put up their hands for uh, the opportunity for. Oh, these are all the comics. See, see, this is what's yeah over here on this side. Hey guys. Look, it's Pete Holmes, everybody. Right, should we no, do? Um, don't do so that. I'm what's just interesting? To see them. Pete, this person gets two minutes. Uninterrupted. Yeah. If but, they're eating the thing, but they have to eat the thing and then do the two minutes. I feel like the end of the second Hashtag. Born movie, where the one spy oh. says to Jason Bourne, "Look what they make us do." You know Hashtag. what I'm talking about? Look at what they we have to do to get on a podcast. Chris, how are you doing over there? Jeremiah, Brian, say something. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> really? Can I see him? <laughs> I immediately regret this decision. 
<laughs> yeah, he looks bad. I'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> okay. Uh, we spotted someone wow. uh, in the audience that is actually one of uh, the Kill Tony favorites, and he hasn't been up in a while, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see him try to endure this. Uh... Put your hands together for the Instagram douchebag legend of Kill Tony. It's Kevin Mack. Let's hit some music for Kevin Mack. Oh, okay, they got it. There you go. There you go. A little bit. There you go. There's a, li there's a little half and half for you. A little band and uh Did you eat music. it yet? Oh, okay, yes. There's a thing, even though we definitely don't have a pen. Brian, this is the stupidest shit ever. Here, you have to sign this thing real quick so it says, You Can't Sue, Kill Tony, Death Squad, Golden Pony Productions, what? Joe Rogan, Pete Holmes, Judd Apatow, HBO, uh, That Comedy does not Store. look like a legally binding <laughs> document. <laughs> and he's, he ate it before he signed it. Wait, is he already eating it? Wow, this guy's such a douchebag. Here, uh, here's a pen. Here's, oh. All right, here you go. There you go. Here's another pen. He just knocks pens out of his way. All right. This is a huge, huge dick. Uh, we should be uh, already looking. Uh, let's start digging through his Instagram. Hey, right, you hate it? And then let's okay, uh, you just hate it. it. Let's do it. Bring up here the we timer. go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Two uninterrupted minutes from Kevin Mack, and then we go back to the bucket one last time for Kill Tony. Two forty-seven. Go ahead, Kevin. Fuck my ass. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Comedy's not worth it. Um, <laughs> I uh, I just uh, got back from New York. It was cool. Uh, I was shooting a movie out there. It was cold as fuck. It was, uh, the warmest day I was there was zero. It was terrible. It was so cold that... Um, <laughs> It was so cold that I was only liking girls' pictures on Instagrams if they were wearing sweaters. <laughs> it's like, ooh, bitch, you look cozy as fuck. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is a bitch wearing Uggs, warm toes, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh. <laughs> You know, some decisions in life, you're like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And then you do it. It's not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Kill Tony guys have been getting me real hard. The fans have been getting me real hard on uh, Instagram. Not my dick, but they've been coming at me hard lately. I had a guy, uh, he messaged on one of my pictures and he said, uh, hey, man, I think you're really funny and I really appreciate the way that you handle things on the show. Keep going. I thought that was cool, so I messaged him back and I said, hey man, I'm glad you appreciate it, thanks for following And he messaged back and said, no, nah, you're a total faggot, I was fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Fall for it every time. <laughs> then another guy direct messaged me and he's like, hey man, you're kind of gay. You can finish, can I finish? It. go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Hey man, you're uh, you're kind of gay. Uh, you suck. You're not funny at all. You should kill yourself. And I was like, you know what? There's no way this guy's gonna get me. So I messaged him back and I said, Hey man, it's not very nice. You don't want to put that negativity out in the world. And then he messaged back, Holy shit, you responded. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> that fucker got me too. Fuck yeah, Thank Kevin you. Mack. There you go. Here's some milk. You want some milk? Want some water? What a douchebag. Played us all like fools. It's like he didn't eat anything hot at all. Didn't really play into uh, no, anything. Oh, dude, I am fucking on fire right really? now. Really? You just don't want to, you just like the pain? Yeah, you I are. just do, I can't drink that because not o I can't do dairy, so not only will I have fire shits, but I'll have shits for days. Wow. Yo, so glad to do it. The water, milk he won't there's water, I would love a water. Holy fuck. Yeah, right here, brother. Right Hashtag here. shits for days. Thank you so, so much. So, real Kevin Mack on Instagram? Original Kevin Mack. Original Fuck Kevin Mack. Original Kevin Mack. Uh, now, Pete, Kevin is notorious. At one point when he was on this show, uh, we talked with him about his Instagram account, and it came up that, you know. Why do he, I feel like he, I'm in an MMA match right now? Hard on it. 
<laughs> he's like a male Instagram model, and sort of. Uh, sort of? A, yeah, in a weird way. And he uses a lot of hashtags. That's his Oof. thing, to draw more people in. Hashtag fuck this. And they always, uh, they always are very, very extreme. And as they go on, they tend to... Uh, they tend what to are we looking at, scarier. followers? Do you have any advice for us, Kevin? Do you, what's, what's, a, what's, a, what's a douchey... Pokemon? There you go. Oh, That's my good God. One. Oh, my God. Look at that. All right. Well, we have one. Uh, so there's no the swinging beach. that around at all, huh? No. It's, it's basically just Kevin standing in the ocean, looking down at ocean water. Acting like he doesn't know there's a camera there. He's just like, <laughs> whoops, he might be is wondering. the sun hitting my pecs perfectly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoops, a doodle. I made hashtag, hashtag, hashtag dreaming awake. <laughs> I made hashtag my, uh, I made my girlfriend's nine-year-old son take that picture. Oh. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, true. Your girlfriend is a nine-year-old son. I made my girlfriend's nine-year-old son take that picture. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Hashtag uh, use seven a times. tripod next time. <laughs> Hashtag abusive daddy, you know? <laughs> um, no, well, those are all funny, guys, but I'm gonna, we're going to uh, we're gonna read you his actual hashtags from the actual posts that he actually thought would draw him more actual good Instagram followers. It works. But first, I'm going to read you what he said, standing in the ocean, looking down at the water as it splashes against his legs. Original Kevin Max said, this is a picture oh, of me going as far into the ocean as I'm willing to go. Ankle deep, by the way. Ankle deep. Oceans are Hear scary. that, ladies? I'm vulnerable. <laughs> I need a woman to protect me. And these are, uh, these are some of the hashtags that he used after that. These are the real hashtags. This is not made up. You can go to Original Kevin Mac on Instagram and look it up for yourself. Hashtag man. <laughs> Hashtag scary. scary. Ooh, it's so scary, the ocean. Hashtag ocean. ocean. Hashtag yeah. Agua. Yeah, for you Latina Instagram followers. That was for Joel, actually. Hashtag fish. fish. Did you really see any fish in the ankle, <laughs> shallow length part of the ocean? They were in there somewhere. Fish the band is water. What's the, now, what's the purpose of hashtag water? Just so other water fans will find you? Like, <laughs> yeah. If you, if you put in hashtag water, there's actually like 700 or 7 million pictures with that hashtag. Yeah, and no one's going to ever find you in there, man. You can just stop with that one. No, you'd be surprised how many people enjoy water. Random water yeah. people. 70%. <laughs> I'm enjoying hashtag the beach. Out of it. Hashtag sun. Hashtag sand. Hashtag fun. Yep. Hashtag Cali. Cali. Hashtag yeah. fit. Hashtag fitness. fitness. Hashtag fit fam. We're only halfway done. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag get fit. fit. Hashtag fitspo. Fitspo? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's the, what's fitspo? Fitspo wait, wait, wait. is uh, fitspiration. Oh, oh my wow. fucking! That's wow. fit poop. So that's for like the top one percent of the one percent of all the douchebags in the yeah, world. Yeah, like understand. One of them <laughs> says hashtag I was just in New York filming a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you did say that on one part of your set. Unnecessary info. I loved it. Uh, it's good to be here. It's uh, uh, hashtag humble brag. <laughs> That's just a regular one, man. We're gonna keep reading. Hey, Tony, <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Tony. I have a, I have, I have something to say. Real yes, quick. Joel Berg. Joel this Hennig. might be a weird. Yeah. But Kevin, are, are you wearing a thong? No. Prove Wait, why would you? Prove why, why, why would you ask? Because he squatted and it looked like he's wearing a thong. No, it's just up his ass, dude. They're just my Calvin's, bro. Wow. I'm pretty sure it's with the ass cheeks cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag fitness model. Hashtag fitness motivation. Hashtag fitness journey. Hashtag gym. My drawers. What's wrong with you, J Joe? You're. Well, I look like an idiot if you don't show the room your thong. I look dumb. You, you want me to look dumb in front of a main room audience? Are you really wearing a thong? No, I'm not wearing a thong. Why would he be wearing a Why thong? Why do you want to show his can, fucking can you, underwear? Can you show I, I didn't say I, I wanted to see it. I said he's wearing one. Now the I look dumb. You can't just show us the band? I want to know why Joel thought it was right? I see the band. You but see it's very the, right. the top right. is black and the bottom is white. Jesus. Your butt cheeks. All right, just saying. I thought I saw. That's fine. Just remember, you made me look dumb. We're reading these goddamn hashtags. Yeah. Hashtag... Fitness journey. <laughs> we already read this. Hashtag <laughs> gym. Hashtag <laughs> muscle. Hashtag tattoo. Hashtag tattoos. tattoos. Have you gotten any new tattoos lately? Kevin? What? You yeah, any new no. tattoos? Yeah, yeah, I did. What's the one behind your ear? I never noticed that. Brass before. knuckles. 
You have brass knuckles behind your ear. Yep. What does that like signify Wait, to you? Are you? I think you're talented and, and you're funny. Are you trying? Are you going for the like the Wahlberg market? <laughs> yep. That's like a real question. Yeah. Like you're like tough, good looking, but you're like I'm also afraid of the ocean. Damn, damn, you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, I don't want to go in the fucking ocean. All right, yeah, dude. I'm working for that. I'm working for the Wahlberg dude. You're uh, hurting. I can tell by looking at your face. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, man. I'm fucking killing it right now. Hashtag tattoos. That's plural. That if you're wondering if we read that twice, we did not. One was hashtag tattoo. One was hashtag tattoo. I got more than one. Next one. This is real. Hashtag guys, guys with tattoos. tattoos. Yep. Hashtag your girl's fave. Wait a minute. You're my girl's fave. Why would you reveal that in a hashtag? I had to get your attention somehow, we, Pete Holmes. <laughs> we don't need another Dean Kane. thank you very much. <laughs> Hashtag, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Do you, like, hate yourself? <laughs> Hashtag, sexy. sexy. Hashtag, man candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's one last Hashtag one. Hashtag, <laughs> yes, I'm wearing a thong at the <laughs> comedy store. One last one. Thank Hashtag you. wet I'm and pretty wild. Wild. Wow, Kevin you're, Mack. You're you are wet. incredible. You are drinking so much water, you're going to piss your thong any second, dude. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, Shouldn't you be like a, like a villain in a superhero movie or something? Like a stand-up. What, what's going on here? This is our thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you look like the guy who bullied me to make me into this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love? I got the real question is: Do you, do you love comedy? Like you're into it? Yeah, I I, I wanted. Jesus, I can't talk. Uh, I always wanted to do comedy. I just never Jesus, thought I had. This, this fucking kid, he's so fucking hot. I never thought he's fucking hot, dude. Wicked I hot. want one of those fucking transformers to spray some water on my fucking tongue. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Remember, uh, in I, I always, I, I always had respect for stand up, but I just never had, thought I had anything to offer it, and then. Uh, I was uh, I was listening to Joe Rog Rogan's podcast one day. I can't fucking talk. Listening to Rogan's podcast one day, and he said, "If you make your friends laugh and you make people around you laugh, then you could do stand up." And I was like, "Fuck it, I might as well try." And is it like a on, year ago did, I started? Did, did he actually like say that on his podcast? Yeah, he did. I don't agree with that. <laughs> Yeah, what if you just have a bunch think, of really, really I mean, terrible friends that are just like, ha ha, you're so funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's an audience for that. There's Hashtag there's man candy, <laughs> you hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, I had something. You do comedy. But is it like, tell me t honestly, how L.A. is this move? Is this like an actor move? Is this no, on your vision no. board? No, no. It's not? No. You just want to do stand-up? Yeah. I love you. What's the hardest that you've ever ghosted a woman? I feel like you're probably <laughs> an assassin at that, right? Um, I feel like you're the type of guy that just like goes through, like walks through those like rotating hotel doors in Caesar and just keeps going around like that. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I dated a girl once, and we the first time we had sex, it was so bad that, um, and she kept like calling and calling and calling, but she was really sweet. What was really so nice. bad about the sex? What do you remember? Uh, it was the toothiest blowjob I've ever had in my life. Wow. The whatiest? Toothiest. Get that bitch out of here! <laughs> Hashtag wet and wild. I told you specifically not to use the teeth. <laughs> this is worse than that M. Night Shyamalan movie I did. <laughs> Remember that horror movie Critters with the the critters that had yeah, all that? Yeah, sure. Tea? It was like that. It was bad. Dude, you got blown by an animatronic were there critter. Mar were, did you see marks the next day? Hmm. Were there marks or anything? Yeah, I had uh, an outbreak. Like chafing on on the top uh, of my dick. Little for chafing. Like, yeah. Well, if you're terrible. looking for a guy that'll finger you in a car, I know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a teethy blowjob, but you still had sex with her afterwards. Yeah, Was and it vagina, burned. Vagina, it burned bad. It burned bad. Because my skin had abrasion on it from the blowjob. Oh. So when I was having sex, it was like, it was awful. Yeah, wow. you, you shouldn't have put it in there. I shouldn't have. You had lots of chances to win, if you know what I mean. And but anyways, the way that I ghosted her, I, yeah. I felt really bad about, I, I didn't know how to tell her that I didn't want to see her anymore. Because There's an I was emoji. The, I was the second guy that she had ever slept with. Uh huh. Uh, so I told her that I had to move to Alaska. Wow! What? Like yeah, I told her that. I Hopefully, she doesn't listen to the Kill Tony podcast. 
Someone I at told home her with that I booked a role Tony on Robbins that show. <laughs> I told her I booked a role on that show, The uh, Ice Deadliest Catch. No way. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Did she say, bring me home an anchor so I could floss <laughs> with it? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I'm picturing her. I'm picturing her with huge teeth. That's I why it's funny so to us. More. You saw them. I'm picturing them. <laughs> <laughs> was that the case? Was it like a normal mouth? Like, did she have big lips, small lips, big teeth, small teeth, or was it just um, average? Dude, she got that DST. <laughs> Dick sucking teeth. <laughs> Actually, I have a thing for girls with buck teeth. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there's your problem right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What do you think that is? Looney Tunes? <laughs> <laughs> you think they, she can fold them when she gives you a blowjob? You'd be surprised how, how girls can detest their jaws at times. Yeah, like a, a snake. <clears throat> yeah. Have you ever, uh, you have a, really have a thing for girls with buck teeth? Mm -hmm. Have you ever met uh, a young uh, comedian around here who goes by the name of uh, Bunny? <laughs> yes. You have? She doesn't have buck teeth, though. Really? Should we bring Bunny up here He's so that he can get a closer look? Bunny, you want to come say hi to Doesn't Kevin Mack? I'm going to try to get you two to kiss. So, All right, here she is, Bunny, everybody. I need, I need a reference. Do you consider Cheryl Hines? She has big teeth. Are those buck yes. teeth? Yes. Yes. Okay, you like big teeth. I like big teeth. Uh-huh. Let's show Pete, your, uh, show Pete your trademark. This is Gap. Gap. I understand. Yeah, you, it's like... Yeah, I agree. You Kevin, have like what I would call comedy teeth. Not that I prefer funny, a thigh gap like over Letterman, tooth gap. Like charming funny teeth. Uh. <laughs> did you just hear the douchiness that came out of his mouth? Kevin, what did he, he said, say? He said, She's I leaving. prefer Wait, a thigh you? gap, not a tooth gap. Well, there goes Bunny, everybody. I prefer a she thigh gap. Kevin, what would you... I love you, uh, buddy. Would, Hashtag, that's not how you fit spire, people. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to know. I have that, to get that was excellent. <laughs> the thigh gap is so the thong fits. Do you know how long I had to sit on Fitspiration? <laughs> the restraint that I showed to wait for that pocket? I have to get an answer out of Kevin. Kevin, yeah. what When's the last time you had a carb? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. I'm so sorry. What would you do uh, in the bedroom to Bunny other than tell her that you just got in a job on him, the deadliest catch? And after you told her about the life-changing properties of CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> I've never CrossFitted oh, in my life. You are a magical guy. You know, I weighed 305 pounds at one time. Wow, really? you are totally a fitspiration. <laughs> ah, dude. Wow. The fuck? I was fat. You were a fat, you were a fat guy. So that's, okay, maybe that's where the need comes from. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Probably. Maybe you are one of those. Uh, what would I do to Bunny in a bedroom? I don't want you to answer that question. No? No. no I feel a... like your counsel. I'm seated at a table <laughs> where you're standing. You don't have to answer that question. I'm going to take the question. advice of my lawyer. Yeah. There you go, Kevin Mack, everybody. <laughs> Eight hot shit. Always an interesting interview. Always compelling. Right. You guys ready to go to this bucket one last time? How you doing, Pete? I couldn't even tell he ate it. Like he uh, was, he was so in pain fine. the whole time. Like, he, he was. He's going right to the. He shitter. looked like he just ate some whey protein. He seemed fine. He's he's just good at like, putting on an act. He's like, oh yeah, I always have hot shit in my mouth. I'm so like my tongue's in there and stuff. You know what I mean? Like hashtag blood in the stool. That was so hot. I even would have put my tongue in the ocean. <laughs> Even the ocean. Hashtag wet and wild, dude. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Rachel Wolfson. Here we go. So uh, my mom, she's a judge. Um, growing up, I used to watch a lot of Judge Judy because I thought she was my mom's boss. Ah. <laughs> That's it! Stop the clock! That's it! Yeah, keep going. <laughs> My dad, he's a district attorney, and like normal dads will take their daughters for like ice cream or like teach them how to ride a bike. My dad took me to see the movie Traffic. <laughs> That's good! <laughs> I like this! <laughs> Have you seen that movie? That's great, I'm picturing it. Because <laughs> he wants to show you what it's like to be a DA. Pause the clock. <laughs> Resume the clock. Thank you. <laughs> My sister, she's a lawyer, 
And my aunt, she, she fucks cops. So <laughs> basically my life is just one giant Law & Order episode. <laughs> my mom was the judge that put O.J. Simpson in prison. No. Whoa. Have you heard of him? No. He was, you can he was a killer of... athlete. Ah. All right, Rachel Wolfson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Wow, your mom's really the judge in Vegas that put OJ in prison? True story. Wow, wow. that's so crazy. Did she ever tell you any uh, inside scoop or anything from that trial? Anything crazy? Maybe. Okay. Really? How long have you been doing stand-up? For a year and a half. All here in L.A.? Yeah. And you're originally from L.A.? or Born and raised Las Vegas. Wow. And how long have you been here? Four and a half years. What do you do for work? I, uh, I work at a dispensary. Whoa. <laughs> Does your mom ever judge you about having a job like ah. that? That's literally her job, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you work, but here, well, it's legal there now too, right? It is, but like growing up, they told me if I smoked weed, I would die. Mm. And I like believed them for most of my life. That's funny. So Everything you say is funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a great premise. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the other people were just really bad. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's like a roasty show. I you love it. You're roasty. fucking killing it. It's great. I've been positive about everybody. I got, I saw, These are my people. I saw. A I lot love of, you guys. Uh, you were all great. I saw a lot of tweets and shit uh, saying that uh, people were concerned with uh, how nice Pete Holmes was going to oh, be. Okay, good. That was but, too mean. But you, you have shown your entire uh, skill set. I can tonight. be mean. Nice, mean. I'll be mean. Silly. I'll be silly. Uh, Rachel, uh, what are some uh, what are some interesting uh, like things that you do for fun? Ever skydive or uh, rollerblade while skydiving or anything like that? I make memes. Wow, really? Yeah. You ones that we know. I love memes. You love? <laughs> I do. Now we make I art. I love memes. <laughs> oh Whoa, Jeremiah, God. you seem offended about this uh, meme business. Yeah, I can't stand them. <laughs> Wait. You look like a meme right now. <laughs> Angry sax man. That could be a meme. <laughs> I yeah. meme you. I don't know what it is about my meme brain. My Jeremiah right now looks like he's a conductor for a train on its way to only West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Where Tony Hinchcliffe is the mayor. <laughs> oh God. Very good. Okay, there you go, you little spin a Rooney there, didn't you? <laughs> Rachel, tell us uh, some more uh, interesting stuff about you. What else? But can we talk about it? She did it. She told us a fact and then a joke. Yeah, no, it's absolutely true. I'm still being nice. I smoke a lot of weed. Every day. How much weed do you smoke? If you had to guess. Enough I to smoke... kill her parents. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to kill my parents. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mom and dad still together? Wait, they, the first time you smoked it, do you think you were going to die? Yes. You did? But then it was amazing. And you, and you didn't die? Bonus. Not at all. I lived. Yeah, clearly, <laughs> I lived. How much weed do you think you smoke ballpark a day? Today, I didn't smoke until I got all of my shit done. So today, only f five joints. Wow. Five That's pretty legit. only joints. Jesus. It's but fun. they were all here in the back, so I'm a productive stoner. You're yeah. like a chain smoker of marijuana. I'm like a chain stoner. A what? Stoner. Stoker. Mind officially blown. <laughs> <laughs> Again, something that would be written on your meme. <laughs> Rachel, Ma you said mom and dad are still together? They are. They're what married. Did, what does your dad do for work? He's a district attorney. He's a district attorney. What do you do for wow. work? Listen. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Damn. You son of a Where'd bitch. I go? I'm the guy. I'm the guy who's doing his job. You must be the other guy. <laughs> it's true. No, you're doing great, Tony. Thank you. Thank you, you answer the question, what if Anthony Jeselnik wasn't good looking? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, are you doing your extra are you doing your extra crashing jokes you're right now? Me, no, I didn't that wasn't from crashing. I ripped that. You're very handsome. Thank you, Pete. So you are. are you. You're a good-looking man. Thank you. But Jesselnik, you know, he looked like the last guy. <laughs> Remember the last guy? <laughs> uh, 
I don't know how to respond to that without insulting uh, Anthony Jeselnik, so uh, <laughs> I'm just going to uh, keep plowing on forward and uh, being 12 years younger than him. Anyway. <laughs> So did your mom Hello. say uh, OJ was guilty the whole time? We just had to do it because of the Naked Gun movies or anything like that? <laughs> I liked the Naked Gun movies. I know. They oh, really yeah. the Naked Gun movies. They're great. It's because you smoke that weed. <laughs> What's the silliest thing you've ever done after getting super stoned? <laughs> <laughs> that, that one. Don't think of the next one. Tell us that one. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Come on. <laughs> the silliest thing I've ever done while I was stoned. Def oh, God. Uh, make something, like, for food that I wasn't, you're not, like, supposed to eat. Oh, Tide Pods. <laughs> These aren't grape nuts. This is kitty litter. <laughs> Wait, what did you eat? I, well. <laughs> I, like, I just put something, you know when you cook something and it's, like, you're not, like, what you're not was supposed to. You mix like dairy. You killed a dog. <laughs> you know when you get stoned and you think like, yeah. this is going to be a great meal. Uh -huh. like, this is going to be amazing yeah. to eat, you know? Okay. <laughs> he definitely knows. All right. Um, what the fuck did you make, Rachel? What are you doing? I don't know. It had like dairy and okay. spicy in it. Yeah. What did you put in it? <laughs> A microwave. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Put the microwave you put a in the food like, and did it backwards. I wouldn't say this was the silliest thing, but it was like I gave myself food poisoning. So, like, so yeah. what did you put in the bowl that you put in the microwave? It was like cheese and hot. It was like, I don't know. It was like oh. that. And then I just ate a whole bunch. It sounds like salsa I'm being con queso. I'm being, I'm being, cheese no, and spicy are like, friends. We have a Mexican not, on the ones and twos. That's not all I ate. <laughs> He loves what do you mean that's spicy not queso? all you ate? I feel like I'm like, I'm more normal when I'm stoned. So like I feel like I'm more silly when I'm not stoned. You're, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I once put a bowl of cheese in the microwave and ate it. No, it was like all right, a, what's the I silliest, ate way too much. What's the silliest thing you've done when you're not stoned? Then? Stop it! I can't hear it anymore. <laughs> when you're not microwaving bowls of snacks, it's a hard question. Is it your is, dad I'm a like, serious man? He's a district attorney. They're, they're, I come from a super serious family. They're dude, super serious. Dude, one, yeah. one time she didn't make a peanut butter and jelly. She made a peanut butter and jam, dude. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Your mom, uh, you, you get in trouble at home growing up? I was grounded all the time. Grounded all the time. Did yeah. your mom usually lay down the law on that, or was it your dad? It was like, a, it was like equal both. Both of them. Right. Defining. Was your mom a little bit tougher than your dad, though? Hundred percent. She she definitely wears the pants. Wow. Does she wear one of those? I'm gonna <laughs> meme you. <laughs> I'm does definitely she, gonna does, meme him. Does she also wear the glove? <laughs> Only if it fits. What was the uh, What was the worst thing that you did growing up that uh, she grounded you for? Um, sneaking out of the house to break into another house to have sex with my boyfriend. I just got caught sneaking out. So. Did she? She never tried to ground you, and you were like, "I object." <laughs> All the rules. Did she charge him with breaking and entering? <laughs> Pretty good. Did, did you guys have a gavel driveway? <laughs> <laughs> That's my lead singer, Patty Rager, right there. Fuck yeah, Rachel Wolfson, ladies Thank and you, gentlemen. Yeah, there Rachel. she goes. Very funny. And like that, there she goes, Rachel Wolfson. She's on Twitter at Wolfie Comedy. This is episode 247 of Kill Wait. Tony, live from the Comedy Store. We're in Houston hey. this Thursday doing this show with the whole damn band and Brian Redband and me. Saturday in Dallas with the whole damn band and Brian Redband and me. Uh, but this has been tonight, 247, with the great and powerful Pete Holmes, everybody. That drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt, available at RyanJEBelt.com, along with Kill Tony the Book, which I've been signing and have been selling like crazy. But I am excited to be on this season of HBO's Crash. And guess, yes. you know who else is on the episode that I'm on? The great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins. True. Sundays, 10.30, HBO, HBO you, Now, HBO Go. It's unbelievable. The great Judd Apatow, Pete Holmes, putting your both of your brilliant brains together to make an awesome Thank show. You, an authentic, Tony. most importantly, an authentic style type of show. about. I hope I was mean enough and not too mean. 
you were fucking awesome. When that girl wanted a hug, did she have to say, may I approach the bench? <laughs> 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 I, I can't write it and not say it. Uh, do you think when her mom taught her how to walk that she said that she was taking the stand? <laughs> said I'm gonna That's get uh, like I'm gonna Patty get Reagan. Judge Judy on that booty. All right, moving on. Uh, Patty Reagan's Patty Reagan. He's uh, at Greg's Dad 99 on social media and things like that. Pat, anything uh, you want to plug this week? Oh yeah, I just want to plug my own asshole. <laughs> Chroma Chris ate a uh, piece of hot chocolate and. Uh, yeah, these guys seem fine. How are you yeah. feeling? How are you feeling? How did that? Uh, He's fine. He's yeah. fine. What I'm, the fuck did you, you buy on the it, internet? It you want to eat it? Make, I'm not going to eat it. Make, <laughs> make some noise for Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, on the ones and twos. I had so much fun tonight. It was really fun. I'm mostly about, sorry. And how about you make some noise for this entire insane band that they brought with them? That was fucking wow. amazing. Red Band, cut the music. Let Red yeah. Band, wow. cut the music. Give the band a sec to play. Yeah. Uh, give it up for the, the top shelf brass band, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. I fucking love you guys. Come back anytime. Did you guys have fun tonight? You had to stand the whole time holding a tuba? Man, that sucks. At least you got to play the tuba. That's cool. And you guys can follow me on social media at Jeremiah Stand Up. I got a new podcast called Jeremiah Wonders. This week's episode is Dom Irera, so check that out on yeah. all the the fixins. Listen Thanks, to guys. all those episodes. Uh, Brian Redman and I have done uh, episodes. A lot of fun people on that show. Pete Holmes, anything uh, anything else? Uh, I have a podcast called You Made It Weird. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Great. that's all you need. So go listen to that. Watch. Uh, we're in L.A. Everybody stand up and say the name of your podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, Boise, Idaho, Houston, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Sacramento, California, and a bunch of other fun dates are up at TonyHinchcliffe.com. You can see me do stand-up, and there's Kill Tony shows that are on the road, too. Uh, Houston and Dallas. Can't Josh Martin Texas. helping us out, running around. RyanJBelt.com for your Kill Tony the book, which we are signing tons of copies of. Thank you guys for your support and fun thing. It's the, it's the coolest thing. It's one of those things that will exceed your expectations if you buy it. I All guarantee right. it. I literally read it every day. Yeah. And thank you for our sponsors, Squarespace.com and ForHims.com. Use the promo code KILL and save on both of those sites. Live audience, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, we'll see you next week with another insane special guest. How about one more time for the great Pete Holmes? Good night, everybody. There you go. Kill Tony, one, four, seven. A little bit louder now, 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 a little bit louder now. Oh, I won't feel it, I wanna feel it.